Hey my loves, it is Lovebird here and I have a quick piece for you. Actually it's a not so quick piece for you. I wrote this a few days ago and I just wanted to share because oftentimes we find ourselves in a place where we get too comfortable with where our relationship is with God. We get comfortable and it stunts our growth and it stunts our development in the kingdom. We can always be more valuable in the kingdom when our relationships grows deeper. So I wrote this not so short piece to remind us to stay hungry for God and evaluate yourself. Put yourself on a scale. See where you think you fit in. See where you measure up and where you can improve. So here we go. It actually doesn't even have a title. So I'm going to just call it scale. On a scale of Jonah to Paul, how down are you for the cause of Christ? Do you gleefully flee, ducking, hiding, finding a way out of every assignment like jury duty? Do you have a heart to do but hesitate and stutter over your excuse like Moses? Do you have the courage to go but stumble in the process? If so, you're in good company. Samson strayed and he was delighted into a very uncomfortable place where his anointing ran dry as the passageway in the Red Sea. On a scale of Jonah to Paul, where do you fit? Where can your name be etched in? Where does your loyalty lie? Where do you stand? Are you convinced or still a skeptic? Are you a believer or a spectator? Are you unsure or concretely confident? Do you even know for yourself? Enough about everybody, I'll answer for me. I admit, my journey to get to the place I'm in was rocky. A lot of starting and stopping. Too much procrastination and mediocrity. My fire has been extinguished on more than one occasion and grace kept me rolling when I had no unction. I'll walk in my truth. When I first heard the command speak, I had no clue what that meant. I was too wrapped up in my own little life I had created. My boyfriend was going through cancer, and instead of asking God for direction, I pleaded for his life, even though God had already saved it. We had a Jennifer Hudson <gasps> kind of sigh of relief when we rang the bell to signal his treatment was complete. And then something sinister happened and we parted ways and God got my attention again. I was ready to figure out what speak meant. And here comes a mature man I had never seen. His presence commanded respect and his anointing was visible when he walked. And out of all of the women in the world, he chose me. A young girl, 19, and we conceived a baby and got married and got familiar and realized this wasn't what God really wanted. Distance was our well-kept secret. We both suffered needless pain, trying to hold on to something seasonal. What should have been a quick lesson spiraled into a life struggle. And after God made a way of escape, I was way more wise than what God initially intended. I see you see my hangup was men. After I took a year to heal and lick my wounds, I moved physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I found myself in a place of purposeful living. I didn't have mommy and daddy, my God-gifted security blankets to coddle me. It was time I learned the answer to the question, why am I alive? And I finally found it. I live so I could love and I breathe so I can be a living version of what the Bible means. I rest so I can get up and conquer over the enemy. I cry to cleanse myself from impurities. I get sick so others know my God is a healer. I lose loved ones so others can be comforted in my recovery. I love you, daddy. I laugh. So the joy of the Lord can have a sound. I dance so victory can have a posture. 
I run because God is always moving for me. I study and pray to know God's game plan and I sleep to rest up for another day. I'm not where I should be, but I'm ever changing, evolving into a more valuable piece of God's puzzle. I live to please and love to be a true child of God the Father. Jesus, my big brother and savior. The Holy Spirit is my best friend, leading me to my expected end. And for that, I am forever grateful. So I say, I have my own scale. And I'm blessed just to belong. That's word.